Hello everybody, this is Mr. Whitaker and I am here to help you learn how to use Keynote more effectively. One of the things we're going to work on today is how to make your Keynote interactive. So instead of going in a linear fashion, your teacher can actually click around on your presentation. Let's go ahead and open Keynote. So as you'll see, I have a home page and a second page set up. And what we're about to do first is add buttons. So you're going to hit your plus sign and pick a shape. Now this is normally where you can go square, circle, whatever you like to do. I actually am going to be a little boring and pick a rounded square. You can put this square anywhere you like and make it any size. Since this is going to be our home page and we're going to make this a big navigation button, I'm going to make this nice and long. You can make this as long as you want. You can actually position this button anywhere you want to. Now the next thing I want to do is add a title. So I'm going to double tap on the middle of this button. And I'm going to title it something boring like link to second page. That's just so I know where this is going. You can be more creative in your title and you can actually be more descriptive to let your teacher know where this button's going to link to. Now next we actually need to make this thing work. So I'm going to tap on it to make sure I've activated. You see those dots around there. And then I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go to my tools which is the little wrench in the top there and then tap on presentation tools. Now you have a bunch of different options, but our point is to make this an interactive link. So we're going to tap interactive links, and now that's going to show us a different drop-down menu where we can pick where we want this interactive link to lead to. There's a bunch of different choices, but for us, we're going to go ahead and tap on link to slide because that's the thing that controls where this is going to go. For this demonstration, we're going to actually have this one go to slide two. That way, we know exactly where this link is going. Now, we, it's always important to check your work, so you press the play button at the top, and then you're going to tap this link. And once you tap your interactive link, it should take you to the page that you actually want to go. That's pretty much it, but let's make this a little bit more interactive. Let's say your teacher's on your second page, and they want to get back to your main page or your home screen. We're going to do the exact same steps we just did, but this time we're going to make it a little bit more uh, for your home screen. So let's pick a smaller button. That way it'll be out of the way in your presentation. Drag it down to the bottom corner there, then double tap on the circle, and you're going to title this home. You could easily do this with an image you choose, a different shape, or you could even put an emoji like a shape of a house or a smiley face. We're going to tap this circle, go to our tools, presentation tools, interactive links, and since this is going to be our home button, we're going to link this to the first slide. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually copy this button. And once I've added all this stuff to that, that button, I can actually copy that button, add it to different pages of a longer presentation, and it will always link back to this home page. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, that's it for now. Join me back here next time for more helpful hints on how to use Keynote.